Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Friday Facts discussion number 350, Electric Mining Drill Redesign and I am joined again as always by Bombug. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? This fine Friday, this Friday Facts number 350, big number, you ready for it? I am ready, big number, big uh, update announcement. I'm doing pretty good, how are you doing? Yeah, hanging in there, you know, striving through all the craziness we got going on. Yes. Yeah, so much craziness right now. It's uh, a little nice sometimes to get the uh, weekly dose of Friday Facts with usually some uplifting news. Yeah, it's uh, good to be in a routine for this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. It helps a lot. Um, so, uh, this one, pretty straightforward as you can tell what it is. We have a electric miner redesign and my first thought when I saw this was, aha, that's why the graphic was different last mm -hmm. week. And... They were, they were being kind of sneaky. This wasn't done yet, so they just didn't mention it, and people thought that they just randomly redid the graphic for no reason. Um, but we'll kind of see why now. So we'll just hop right into it. Um, this is from Ernestes, Ernestes and uh, V. So uh, the Electric Mining Drill is one of the older designs still in the game, and we have had our eye on it for a long time as a candidate for redesign. We should have loved to. Uh, we would have loved to rework the mining drill in 015 when they added the high res graphics and the pipe patch for it. But we had many nuclear related graphics to do for 015, so we did the necessary minimum postponed and postponed the full uh, redesign. Now it's finally a time we could unleash Ernestes onto it. Uh, unleash him. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> They've um, been holding him back all this time. He's like, let me at it, let me at it, I want to redesign. Yeah, they finally, finally let go of the chains, and he just went straight straight into it. So uh, the old design, as we're very familiar with, uh, the most problematic aspect we see is the weak radial animation that's more like gently harvesting field rather than aggressively mining and destroying the planet. <laughs> yeah, uh, we need more destruction here. Yeah, I mean, truly, in, in the spirit of the game, we have to just be as destructive and polluting as possible. Um, Honestly, I want my oil pumps to do some sort of fracking stuff, you know, make uh, make areas collapse, you know, have some big cliffs just generated every now and then. That would be best. Yes, yes, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, so good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this does, uh, you know, over time we got used to it, but uh, this does look kind of tame. You know, it looks like they're just maybe massaging the, the ore here a little bit. Um, so... That's, that's what we're used to. Um, the original mining drill is also very flat, like a top-down square. Uh, in general, we try to avoid square entities like the plague, as they tend to look di uh, dis disintegrated, disintegrated uh, with the world because they don't try to hide that their perspective isn't correct. Uh, so yeah, kind of as you can see here, it looks very flat. Uh, the pipe patch for the uranium ore m uh, mining makes the mining drill look a like a different entity is, is massive compared to the ultralight drill. Uh, now that we can account for the pipe patch from the start of the design process, we can make it better integrated, which is pretty cool. Um, so we move on to the new the new design, which is uh, really interesting. So the drill bit uh, is the part that does the action and therefore is the main characteristic for the entity. Uh, we spent multiple iterations trying to find the right shape for it first. We try to try uh, Tricone, four uh, metal drills, a cone-shaped drill bit, and none of them worked. Mostly the problem was visibility of too many details, which became even worse while drilling. Having a small pixel area is what usually limits us on what we can create, and also things that need to be recognizable from far away. Uh, so we can see some examples here. Uh, all fairly typical type of drills. The one in the middle is something I've like never seen in real life. Um, kind of interesting design there that's what they use the dentist right four <laughs> drills for extra efficiency yes <laughs> okay yeah that maybe that's like <laughs> some major like root canal stuff going on there um <laughs> yeah we don't want anything left over so let's just yeah just give it all. um the one on the left i'd say is fairly common uh and the one on the right is kind of interesting but potentially uh i was actually thinking left was a can opener like first time i saw it and then i was oh, like yeah. oh okay i could see how this could be it, it could be a can opener too. I mean, multi-use. Uh, yeah. You know, when your engineer has some beans he needs to open, just stick it in there and good to go. Mm. May not have Space a can beans. left or a hand, but <laughs> um, uh, there's no OSHA here. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> uh, so yeah, interesting design uh, concepts here. So 
trying various options, we chose to use a similar solution to the murder burner mining drill as that is already established in the factorial language. It makes it clear that the miners are one family of entities. Uh, as you can see, pretty much just a standard uh, kind of cone spiral-esque design here. Um, and we, we see the first kind of uh, iteration and look of what the new uh, electric mining drill looks like, which uh, is much more similar to the icon that we were confused about last week. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, off this first look, what, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I do like that they went with the swirly drill. Um, I think that works well with like the small amount of pixels that you're actually going to see in game. Mm -hmm. um, not too sure about the sort of uh, gold yellow metal pieces yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll grow on me. Uh, it does indicate very clearly this is the output side, which yes. I do like. Because I've I've had uh, you know when I started playing I was very confused where do liquids especially go in and where do they come out and yeah having that more visually clear is pretty nice. What yes. do you think? I I completely agree with everything you said. Um, my one suggestion for them would perhaps be uh, if you notice on the burner mining drill it also has a pretty clear output but instead of being like a real polished bright looking orange it's more of a rusted. Um, I think if they just apply that same color and texture to like the really shiny orange parts of the new miner, um, it would fit really, really well with the theme. Uh, nice. Because yeah. like you said, it seems a little weird. Like, you know, you can see rust on other parts, kind of dirty metal. And then the engineer's just like, oh, yeah, let me just take this like really gold polished metal on yeah. like two random parts and put it on there. Um, so I think I, I was, that. yeah, I was kind of tossing around the idea in my head of like having uh, just a little bit of a. Uh of a belt showing mm. um but i don't know if that that's quite fitting because you can pull out of the miners in different ways not just having it output onto a belt right yeah it can go into a box and stuff yeah but hmm. that was kind of like uh we know what a belt is we know what it looks like we it's very clear we know what it does by the time we get like an electric miner we know but i know it's not in the recipe and so i'm like yeah some wiggle room to do other designs here mm-hmm for sure. Um, so, under the animation, the old animation had one big benefit. It could work non-stop and move around the collision box, so it looks like it's harvesting from various tiles. With the new construction of the drill, it has to lift to move around. However, the drill can be uh, outputting resources even when the drill uh, bit is lifted. So we have added a working LED and a tintable layer for resources being dropped uh, to the output, making it clear when the drill is in a working state. Um, so you can kind of see here, uh, the little LED, uh, the first one here is like kind of yellowish. So we have green, none when there's no power and then red, probably when the output's backed up. So that's pretty cool. You can kind of see maybe what it looks like a bit more on the ore here. Um, I think that's pretty neat. Almost, almost like a built-in bottleneck mod. Um, one of the yeah. only machines in the game that actually has a built-in like indicator of it working or not yeah that's kind of cool i mean we we see like a a stopping of animations if like the output is full or mm -hmm. there's no electricity right but having the world just feel more alive in multiple ways is kind of kind of cool i like it yeah for sure uh so since the movement of the drill is procedural and Ernesto is so smart about optimizing the sprite sheet space we can save a lot of vram compared to the original mining drill about 40 megabytes uh, we were considering a lot more additional animations, but it would multiply uh, VRAM requirements too much or it would become too procedural and too complicated to implement. Uh, the resource layer, the pipe contents, and the smoke emitted by the drill uh, bit are all tileable layers specified by resources, which makes it very dynamic and mod friendly. Uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like with the pipe entities here, and then you can see uh, when it's mining uranium, you can see it's like kind of spitting up some like greenish uh, dust here, uh, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. It's got its own little uh, conveyor belt sort of. Thing. But yeah. Let's see. I I'm looking at like the one on the bottom left. Uh, on the left side, it looks like there's some kind of chunks coming up out from the drill to the left yes. side. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes, that's a, a really cool, neat little detail there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, um, 
and then continuing of the remnants ignore rotation but have four variations. Uh, typical mining fields usually only use two rotations anyway, so this way it always looks a bit nicer. Um, so you can see the remnants, what they look like here, pretty cool, very clear. You can see the drill bit, bit in there and several of these, um, which is pretty neat. And obviously all the remnant rotations, I think it provides enough variation usually. Yeah, four is definitely enough. I mean, you're going to be seeing a whole field of these if something bad happens to you, right? Yeah. So having a little bit of variation in there is good, but not spending a whole lot of time on it. I... Exactly. Uh, so the sound of the mining drill has also been updated. Unfortunately, Factorio does not support multiple working sounds per entity, which also means we can't synchronize sounds with the animation, uh, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but... So because of that, Ian had to in, uh, invent a sound that worked non-stop. Uh, since there's almost always more than one mining drill around, it should be fine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this video here right now. Uh, I think, I think that's pretty good. It, obviously, if there's only, like, one drill or so, um, going, it would seem kind of weird that you're still getting this noise when it's moving back and forth, but... Oh, well, yeah, I mean, the drill's still kind of spinning, right? So, yeah, not bad, though. And, yeah, usually you would just have a whole field of these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of cool. It's also good just to see the actual animation in yeah. motion, showcasing the sound and the animation at once what do you think of kind of the bobbing and the sliding around of the drill um it's interesting i think uh my, my two comments on that would be uh first off also this would help with the sound is if the drill bit continued to spin while it was moving uh you know it, it picks it up and then moves it like forward or backward yeah. i think it would make sense and help with the sound if the drill bit continued uh spinning while it was moving because gotcha. i mean yeah kind of makes sense yeah i actually thought it did at first now that you're putting it out i see it does stop when it's moving yeah um and then the second thing uh is and this is also something a lot of people commented is it seems like the drill part the drilling uh part of the animation should maybe last a bit longer compared to the movement um like yeah you know it drills for like maybe two seconds Two and a half seconds and then you know it takes a good second or so to move and then drills a little bit people are saying that like it just doesn't seem to actually be drilling enough yeah, yeah i think that would be good plus like we don't want huge amounts of movement on the screen all the time you know mm -hmm. exactly that can get a little bit too much uh i'm kind of wondering too like is it randomly animating or like if you have the power disconnected on it, you drop all of them at once and then connect the power, will all of them be perfectly synced? And what do you, do you think that would be good or bad? Because I kind of like it when everything is perfectly synced, but I don't know if that super hmm. realistic, you know? And Factorio is all about realism, so. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't know. I, I really like it when things are perfectly synced too. I feel like, um, I mean, I feel like if you cut the power like mid thing, mid animation and plug it back in i think they'll pick up where they left off probably in which yeah. case they wouldn't be in sync but if you like place them all for the first time with no power and then power them all on um i imagine they would all start in the same place and all be in sync yeah and that's definitely what i like to do like i like to fill up my belts fully i like to have everything like uh, all of my factories set up with the inserters and everything ready but no power to the block of you know buildings itself all the all the power lines are set up it's just not connected and then i connect it and they all go at once and it's really nice and smooth and i think that's awesome because it really oh man it bugs me when there's like two or three of the inserters going out of time you know Ooh. yeah that, no uh, man no that that'll uh that'll kind of get you twitching a little bit <laughs> yeah around in your seat um also again we can notice that the dust on these the like debris is colored in relation to the ore that's mining which is really that's cool. nice yeah, I think that's good. And it, it seems like it wasn't too difficult for them to do. They did it in a nice, generic, non-hacky way that everybody can take advantage of, you know? Yes. Yeah, uh, exactly. There is the big issue, though, that they're mixing ores on a belt. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's I don't know a bit of a problem, isn't there. it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that needs to be looked into. Uh, also, one last thing to point out on this: um, on these two iron drills uh, that are next to each other, you can get a really good view of the, like the little like grindy teeth at the front. Um, I think it's a really cool thing, like you said. Is it? It looks. It's kind of like grinding the ore and then spitting it out, maybe. Yeah. Which. Uh, yeah, it's tight. Yeah, you get a really good view of that on those two, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there is that. And then last little paragraph here. Uh, we were finishing the mine drill in the last few weeks, so we couldn't release it with the new icons, as I mentioned uh, before. Uh, we didn't feel like creating a new icon for the old design and found it be a cute little hint that the redesign is coming. Hopefully the confusion why the new icon looks completely different to the entity will be cleared up next week when we release the redesign presented in this post. So there you go. This will be out uh to play with in the experimental next week uh excellent another thing one thing i saw people mentioning and i also do agree with this because i was thinking this myself before i read the forums is they're like okay well it kind of makes more sense now with the new icon uh but the, a lot of people still aren't a fan of the new icon and neither am i i think even though it fits a lot more with this i think it still looks uh, too similar to the burner mining drill. Um, like, I mean, I mean, maybe it makes sense because like the redesign is very similar, but the icons, I think, um, at first glance, are not very easy to tell apart. Um, it, it, it's like, like with how it is currently, you can very quickly see like this is one drill and this is a completely different drill. So like they're probably different tiers or something. But with the new icons. Um, at least to me, it's kind of difficult to see that they may be, like, two separate levels of drills. Like, yeah. the icons just look really, really similar. Um, and it is curious, too, because the entity itself is not just an upgraded entity. It's, like, totally different size, and, you know, runs on electricity, versus, like, uh, assembly machines. It's just, like, oh, it mostly just changes color, mm -hmm. right? This is, like, a full-on... Uh, full-on sort of a redo upgrade a replacement rather than an upgrade right yes and so you do want it to look pretty distinct yeah ex exactly so i think i think the icon could still use a little work um to kind of just uh you know distinguish it a bit from the burner mining one um but overall i i like this rework it'll be a little interesting uh, a little hard maybe initially to get used to but i think it i think it is overall a good upgrade and does look a bit more fitting to the uh, theme uh, and premise of the game rather than something that's just like kind of massaging the ore and <laughs> mm -hmm. you know real like timid and light um this is you know pretty pretty aggressive mining here um but yeah i think i think that's it do you do you have any other thoughts here uh yeah one more thought i just noticed graphically uh the left right outputting uh miners if you notice the arm that's holding the drill, there's one arm on each side, and they're offset from each other, one's to the left and one's to the right. Mm. But on the north and south outputting drills, the arms are like connected together in the middle. And oh they're boy. even. Do you see that? I see that. that is, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, so that's, maybe uh, maybe oof. a note about that. But other than that, like uh, I kind of like this new drill, and I think it definitely has a much beefier feel. Uh, also, I do love that it's not just a straight up box. Like obviously it's a square thing, but having that open side, having the middle piece moving around gives it a, a really good distinction there. It feels a little bit more open, you know, it's like uh, interior decorating can make the room feel more open, right? And I think they did a good job with the redesign of this. Yes, yes, they really did. Um, you are right though, that something seems wrong there. Um, that I, I can't imagine that that's intentional. I mean, maybe it is, but it doesn't make sense because you notice it on the other ones too, um, like the uranium ones, that the two on the top belt are are you know the arms are straight across from each other, but then the one you know facing the other direction, the arms are you know on the left and right. Yeah. So I don't. I mean, that that's a problem to me. Maybe it's just for like visual. Because if they were lined up, you, like, wouldn't really see the drill bit. 
you know, because the arm would be covering it. Maybe that's why they did it. Um, yeah, it could be that. But, yeah, that makes sense, actually. That's the only reason I can think of, because otherwise it makes absolutely no sense that the arm orientation would completely change when you rotate the minor. Um, yeah. So. No, I think that does make sense, though, because visually, you're, you're totally right. It would completely block it. That <laughs> that may be why they did that. that um, I feel like that's almost, yeah, that almost has to be why they did that. Um, so, yeah, it is something that maybe will kind of bug you but i mean it, it does also kind of make sense now that i think about it so um that is interesting to point out though because i did not notice before uh yeah yeah overall i'm real happy i'm real happy with these uh with these changes i think uh the icon maybe could use a little work but overall um really really great redesign here yeah i'm liking it good stuff guys good stuff i'm excited to uh, be able to use it in game next week, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts below on uh, the rework and all that and uh, on the forums and Reddit for the devs. And until next time, we will see you later. Catch you later.